Hello viewers, Mike here. Well, we're finally ready to start this gear cutting process. So I've taken the new equipment and cleaned it up a little bit and put it up on the bridge port and got it lined up. And uh, here's a couple of photos just to show you what we're getting started with. Okay, to get started, let's do a little refresher on calculating uh, the divisions on the dividing head. So to start with, we're going to cut a pinion gear that has 11 teeth. So we have a 40 to 1 ratio on our dividing head, which is a pretty common ratio. But make sure you check your ratio before you do the calculations. So the way we set this up is we divide the dividing head ratio by the number of teeth or divisions and we have an improper fraction. So we have to make that into a proper fraction. So 11 goes into 40 three times and with 7 left over so that becomes 3 and 7 elevenths. So now we can make 11 divisions by doing three turns and seven holes on an 11 hole plate. But we don't have an 11 hole plate. Let's go a little further and see what, if we can match a hole plate that we have. So to get started, let's, let's double this. Let's go. 2 times 7 is 14. And 2 times 11 is 22. So we can also make this by going three turns, 14 holes on a 22 hole plate. Problem, we don't have a 22 hole plate. All right, let's go a little further. Let's go. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 11 is 33. So we can make it with three turns, 21 holes on a 33 hole plate. Yeah, we do have a 33 hole plate. So this is what we'll use for 11 divisions. Let's go a step further. Let's do the calculations for our gear. We have a gear. that has 46 teeth. So that's 46 divisions. So we put our 40 to 1 ratio here. 46 teeth. And reducing this down, 2 goes into 40 20 times. 2 goes into 46 23 times. That's a pretty poor 2. So, do we have a 23 hole plate? Yes, we do. So, we can go 20 holes on a 23 hole plate. So, that's what we'll use for our 46 teeth. And it's just about that simple. It doesn't hurt to cross check that with your chart as well, just to double check yourself. So, there you have it. Now, we need to get the gear cutter centered on the gear blank. So we start by zeroing out the top of the gear blank diameter to the top of the cutter and then we take half the thickness of the cutter from half the diameter of the gear blank and move the table up that distance and then we should be exactly centered. And this is the same thing, just a little closer look.
remember these will be non-standard gears that are what you call profile shifted gears. So that's why we're going to the work of all the prototyping. And here's the results of our first prototype. The gear tooth is too thin and too pointy. I used a number one cutter on this. It looks to me like that if I step up to a number seven cutter the profile should be just about right. I'll make up a new blank and try again, but for now, this is Mike, signing out.